Hey guys, it's Curtis. I'm back in the gym today and I've had a Ultimate Dip Attachment for a while. So I have one of the ones that were available on the Mutant Metals webpage. But following the whole like Velocidor, Mutant Metals UDA, Rogue Takeover, Rogue Helping Out, Mutant Metals thing, I was just curious like, what is so today what i'm going to do is i'm going to get this unboxed and assembled i'm going to put them side by side with the original mutant metals ultimate dip attachment and give you guys just kind of a side by side comparison of the old versus the new manufacturing process uh, and you can make a decision on whether you think that the uda could potentially be something for your gym now when rogue starts doing your manufacturing you get a couple really cool things and one of those cool things that you get is very cool boxes this might seem silly, but I, I really don't think it is. I think that this, this piece of the marketing is part of what creates the excitement. And I think that's why companies like Rep, like Rogue, um, some of these other companies out there, like Bridge Built even with some of their packaging, it like really creates a lot of excitement when you get it. Uh, another one that's really good is like Clevabel with their packaging. The packaging itself is an experience. So let's cut this thing open and see what's inside. All right, so let's flip it open. So as we flip it open, and again, I haven't opened this yet, so this is my first time. This is so exciting to see my reaction video. All right, so we have a typical, like good road packaging. This is something that Rogue's always been known for. Uh, we've got like the, the checklist on, hey, this is the UDA, this is how it has to be, as well as whether it's stainless steel or black. Um, I did get the black handles because I already have the stainless handles. We also have some handy dandy instructions, which is also like high quality, nicely done. Uh, I dig it a lot, looks good. Looks like Rogue really like did their due diligence when it came to, to marketing this thing. Now keep in mind, I would normally just spill this excitedly on the ground, but I'm trying to create an experience. So what we have is the handles in its own box, which I'll set down here for now. And then we have the actual uh, ultimate dip attachment like body. So I'm gonna take that out of the box real quick. And that's it for the box. Again, well put together, well thought out. But ain't nobody got time for that. All right, so here we have the UDA. So finish unpackaging it. Um, I mean, it looks pretty good. It's flat. It does have like right off the bat, I noticed that there is a little bit of like imperfection, weld spatter type stuff. Let's see if I can catch that just right. And uh, I mean, it looks good overall though. The flat black powder coat looks good. UHMW is precision cut. It's nice and beveled. It looks good on the unit. Um, I will say one thing I prefer over my Mutant Metals version, and I opted for the welded in end caps. This has the plastic end caps, which again, it's not a huge deal. It's just one of those little things that I like. The Mutant Metals M is clearly cut. It looks nice. Um, and then that one inch rod is, or the one inch pin rather that goes into the upright is welded on the outside so that the inside can sit nice and flush and not have to worry about any of that adjustments, maybe not fitting right. So. Overall, you know, a little bit of imperfection as well as um, some interesting pieces. Ooh, this is new. I'm fairly certain. So, one little extra thing that's been done is there is a new little bit of Mutant Metals logo on the bottom side so that when it's in the storage configuration, you see that nice Mutant Metals double M and that looks really sharp. Um, there's also a small gusset that's in here at the bottom. And this small gusset I'm sure is what's gonna uh, create like a little bit of a stiffer feel when it's up on the bar. So let's get the handles out of the box. Now, one of the things I've always liked about the Mutant Metal Ultimate Dip Attachment is that when you buy a UDA, you're getting really more than a UDA because you're getting these handles. And these handles don't always have to be used in the dip attachment themselves. So here we are, I got the black. Here's the one. That's a, a very passive knurl compared to the original Mutant Metals design. This is very, 
Very similar, if not the exact same probably, as like the Rogue Ohio Power Bar. Now for those of you that, again, aren't into the super aggressive neural, but you want something that's still nice and grabby, this is a really nice option. Let's get that crap out of the way. Um, this one also comes with these plastic uh, washers, which my version is old enough with mutant metals that it didn't come with those. And instead of the 3D printed nut design, it actually comes with a, uh, a rogue knurled nut, one per. So let's throw it together. I found, and you guys will see in a review that I do later, that I prefer the center hole as far as the three hole separation. That's part of what made the Mutant Metals UDA so unique from the get-go was its modular design and its ability to accommodate athletes of different widths using a single piece of equipment. It looks really good. Let's get the original up here and lay it over the top and see how we're looking. Or at least laid side by side. <clears throat> Should have thought this out better, I guess. But that's okay, life will go on. All right, so let's go for right over the top. As we can see, the handle lengths are right about the same. Um, a little difference on the handles is that the, the back end of the handles here have a, a steeper bevel, where these ones have a shallower bevel. Really doesn't make that big of a deal. Uh, it's just a difference that I noticed. Again, the Mutant Metals versions comes with the 3D printed uh, monster nut, or knurled nut, or whatever we're calling this 3D printed version. Um, the, the actual knurl marks, so like where the neural isn't anymore, is cut in versus this, which is kind of left just unmarked. Um, not again, not a big deal, but it's kind of like some of the bars that I reviewed. For instance, uh, one that comes to mind is like the Iron Skull Power Bar from Bear Steel Equipment it has the neural actually kind of like cut in. And what that does is it actually makes the termination and beginning point of the neural. It makes it just look a little bit better. Also, I just kind of like how it feels to be able to grab that and you're like, okay, that's definitely a break in the knurling. It's not to take away from the Rogue version at all. The Rogue version still looks really good. Just a difference that I've noted. One big difference that I'll say is the UHMW design. The UHM design on the original Mutant Metals version is just a little bit less refined. This was obviously cut on, you know, probably by hand, um, probably by the owner of the company. Um, these ones are definitely cut by a machine. Uh, they're nice and beveled. They both function the exact same, but it's a matter of appearances and how they look. This one being more of that square, this one being more of that rectangle, having more of the fine finishing edges. Additionally, the ones on the inside, again, you can just kind of see on the edges when you're looking at it, that it's a little bit rougher cut. So the Rogue version is a step up as far as the UHMW additions to the actual unit. So here they are, they're side by side, one on each upright, and I'm just looking at them, and what I can tell right away is basically that the Rogue version, again, has a little bit more of those finishing touch refinements that maybe the Mutant Metals one didn't. That's mainly in regards to the plastic, and maybe maybe some of the logo stuff. So originally the M logo that was just on the side of the mutant metals was really cool. And I'm, I'm saying that that is actually a really cool cut in, especially for how thick that material is to be able to cut that logo in that sharply looks really good. But the rogue version brings an extra logo to the bottom that the original does not. And I think that that mutant metals logo is really cool, especially as far as like in its storage configuration, it looks really good. It also has that piece down here to stiffen it up. And I did a couple dips while I was getting the camera set up. And I gotta say that I think there's a little bit of a difference, but it's one of those differences that's like ever so slight. Now I'll do a full review comparing this to this um, with like an in-depth look later on. Um, and I'll give you a better assessment then. I'll probably try to come up with some sort of test. But what I can tell you right off the bat is that it's probably a little bit stiffer. It's also kind of angled up ever so slightly. And you know what, I'm gonna get a level. Yeah, so why, uh, why guess when you can just lock something down and actually look? So yeah, the, the version, the Rogue version, has an ever so slight, probably a half bubble off 
upward angle. Now what that's gonna do is it's gonna help um, because this one is just level when it's on the rack. So when you actually put body weight on it, it's gonna bend down just a little bit because the size of the uprights, the nature of doing dips, um, if you have a load out here, it's gonna push this down just a little bit. This version, starting at a slightly upward angle, is gonna give you a more you know, flat uh, curve. And again, that's something that I'll look at in the full on review. Now, the one thing that I, I noticed right away and that I kind of wish was a little bit better, and I kind of expect a little bit better from Rogue, and I hate that this is a thing, but really just like this, this flaw in the coating up on the top. Now, here's the deal. It doesn't matter. You're still gonna be able to do dips just fine. The knurling feels great. It looks like a solid piece. I'm not nervous about putting my body weight on it. The welds look clean. They're all done by robots anyways. Like it, it is a quality piece of equipment. It's just one of those where it's like, hey, this is a premium thing from Rogue. Why does it have these imperfections in the coating? That's been it for this unboxing video. Do you like this kind of content? If you do, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Uh, leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think about the rogue version of the Mutant Metals Ultimate Dip Attachment. Thank you for everybody that watches these videos every week. And remember, when it comes to your garage gym and your training, you should always keep it better awesome and, of course, badass. I'll see you next time.